田の川さんかわいい髪型変えたからのゴーちゃんかわいい輪郭変えたらおもろいやんごめんなすいません話しめてどうぞちょっと段つけましたかわいいあの髪型輪郭変えたのだ輪郭変えたのだはいで結構あの楽しいんだとはいいやちょっと朝っぱしながらいろんなゲームをあれですねはい何やったの Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Long time no see. It's been a while since we've seen each other, you know, mano a mano or a w o m a n o a mano. Welcome back to some more videos. I'm here talking to you guys about something that has caught my interest, something that's caught my eye, and I really want to share it with you guys. And if you guys have seen the title, you've seen the thumbnail, you guys know that Jonah is doing God's work right now. If you guys don't know who Jonah is, let me give you a brief little synopsis as to who Jonah is. Jonah is a very strong and very good. BB tag slash BBCF player who's made a name for himself by,、uh, you know, winning majors and winning tournaments, taking names, kicking ass, and also turning the tables against other Japanese players, of course. So he's done very, very well in the past in BBCF and in BB tag. More recently, he's actually won CEO Taku 2018 by taking BB tag and BBCF all together, both of the games. He got the trophy. Nonetheless, he's a very good fighting game player with a very impressive resume, and he's made his splashes by, you know, contributing to the community by making content such as making tier lists and also making videos, informational videos about how to fight his team, which is Team Gorby and BB Tag. Getting back on topic here, Jonah has taken the initiative to create a series of videos where he interviews top level players and kind of interviews them in a very lax way. Way by picking their brains, stating their opinions, all that good stuff. Now, the reason why I'm bringing up Jonah's interview series and the reason why I separate him from the other interview content creators is because not only does he interview, you know, top level players, but he interviews top level players from Japan and he translates whatever they say over to the North American audience, which is a fantastic idea. And I'm so glad that he's taken the initiative to do this. Of course, there are other people that have done the same, such as Giuna, who has started, you know, the, the, the bridge to, get, to shorten the gap between North America and Japan when it comes to fighting games. So I just have to highlight this interview series by Jonah. His first series is actually with Tomorello, which is, if you guys don't know who Tomorello is, Tomorello actually won Evo Japan in 2019, earlier this year, for BB Tag. Of course, not only does he play BB Tag, he plays BBCF, he's played Mai. Yes, my、uh, Natsume, which is he uses in both BBCF and in BB Tag. I think that's his waifu, if I'm not mistaken,、uh, which is really, really cool. Now, I've watched this interview myself, and let me tell you, I had a blast watching it just because there w a s some questions there that really hit, and I really wanted, was intrigued as to see what Tomorello was about to answer. He has fantastic questions such as, you know, the current meta in BB Tag. What is going to be after the patch now that he knows the, the、uh, because during the time this was this interview took place a couple months ago, so this was all still speculation as to how the patch was going to go.、Uh, but however, it was still really fun to see what his thoughts are in BB Tag and how he he likes BB Tag or BBCF and how he likes one over the other, or if he likes one over the other, you're gonna have to find out yourself.、Uh, go watch his interview, I'll link it in the description down below. He asks questions about his waifu, my Natsume, what made you start liking the character. He asks questions on Final Fantasy IV. He even asks questions about how Tomorello actually deals with tournament nerves. And that's something that really stood out to me because, you know, as a viewer who actually goes to tournaments and such, I'd like to see what his strategies are for dealing with nerves whenever he goes up to play a high level player or just to go to tournaments in general. So, seriously, I definitely recommend you guys watching the Tomorello interview. I'll link it in the description down below. He actually has timestamps to, to, to highlight the questions that he asks, which I'm, I, I got my, my, my mind was blown because I don't even do that. <laughs> I should do that, really. I should. Not only did he do an interview with Tomorello, but he also did an interview. With a top level North American player, Tempest Romeo, which is a fantastic BB tag player. He's one of my favorite players to watch currently right now. And I didn't realize, and that, that's why I like these interviews, because I get to know these players a little bit more. But I didn't realize that Tempest was so young. Tempest was a fan, like super, super young player who plays amazingly in BB tag. He plays the, 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 
he plays the freaking rainbow of BB Tag, man. He has so many teams, he has so many characters, and he really knows his stuff about the game. So it's really fun to see them go back and forth and kind of asking questions about the current meta. And of course, just asking other lax questions to, to Tempest, which is really, really cool. And to be honest with you, this is one of the few interview series that I am looking forward to because Jonah has the potential to interview a lot of not only top level North American players, but top level uh, Japanese players. And I think that's the, the main interest of this interview series because, man, he can interview players like monster he can interview players like fenrich he can interview players like rusei maybe to see like where he has gone what his thoughts are after winning evo and then just i guess he like i don't know he retreated i don't know why he won bbcf in, at evo and he just said i'm done i'm done he could possibly even interview heyho and just to see like what his thoughts are what he's doing right now after winning evo 2018 for bb tag so i'm really interested into seeing what this interview series is going into because not only is he like i said he's interviewing uh japanese and north american players because i think he wants to diversify the, his his audience he wants to not only make it easier for us to understand japanese players but he also wants to make it easier for japanese players to understand north american players and i think that is a fantastic concept nonetheless jonah keep doing god's work you're doing amazing if you do see this shout outs to you shout outs to jonah i'll link all of his information in the description down below including links to the interviews including links to where he's going to be doing his next interview that i'm going to be posting right now it's going on as we speak as you're watching this video uh well it's the day of when this video is about to go up so if you guys have missed it watch the vod because it's very interesting he's going to be interviewing his uh his next person is going to be actually noble which is a bb tag player very young bb tag player actually who has qualified for the arc revo finals and so we'll be seeing him in the finals of bb tag so that's super super exciting i always wanted to know not only like i'm very interested to see like of course the, the the mind of a top level player from japan but this is a very young player and i wanted to get his perspective on finding games where he started and you know like what his take on bb tag is in the meta currently right now after the patch so if you guys haven't already go on over to jonah's channel subscribe to him follow him and watch this interview with noble anyways guys follow him over there that's gonna be it for me today i'll see you guys in the next video okay peace out everybody